Hello, everybody. It's great to see you all again. It's been a while since I've taped. I hope everybody is doing well in this time of quarantine and everybody's staying in and staying safe. I wish you all safety and uh, good health as well. Okay, so we're gonna, this is today going to be a review on a new product that I received. It's fairly new. It's called the Super Goop Glow Screen. And it's almost like, it's a lightweight, um, what it is is a lightweight pearlescent formula that hydrates the skin while acting as a luminous makeup gripping primer. SPF hack. It also doubles as a highlighter wherever you want an extra little dose of sunshine. Okay, so this is essentially, it's a sunscreen that's a primer that has a glow factor to it. So this is a review of this. Um, I've used it for about two weeks now and I really like it. And I've noticed as, as I'm getting older, I need a glowy makeup. The matte formulations aren't working. So I got this to give my matte makeup an oomph that it would look better on my skin. And that just make me look a little bit younger, a little glowier, a little fresher, especially for the springtime. So matte formulas can be a little harsh as you get older. A little glow to the skin does help. So I'm putting this on and then putting one of my matte formulas on. This one I've been using, the um, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous All Day 3-in-1 Foundation. Now this one is matte, again, um, it's it needs this to together it has a nice fresh look to it i will be applying this to the face and then you can see um how it goes I'm just going to be using my fingers today today is a finger day for this particular item it goes on nicely with just the fingers you can see you will see the glow coming to my skin now I've already washed my face and moisturized. I try not to put too much near my eyes since I have very sensitive eyes. A little bit more to make sure it's sun, because it's important that it, it be sun protection. That's the whole point to sunscreen, but it's nice that it would have a glow as well. Okay. Mary here. Looks like it's all blended. All right, now I'm going to use the um, CoverGirl Outlast Stay Matte Foundation. Actually, maybe you should, I, I wonder if I should let it sit. Do you see my skin, how glowy it is? I want, I have, I started off with no makeup at all. So um, I have no makeup on presently, but now I put the glow screen and now I'm going to just let it dry just for about 10 seconds or so. And I'm going to start with a matte formula and see how it goes. Blends nicely. And it definitely, um, it gives it an oomph. I have a glowier complexion. It brings uh, the glow factor to the, any foundation you mix it with. I really like this product. I can tell you now that it's an excellent product. It's an excellent sunscreen. It's an SPF of 40 and it's just, it's very gentle on the skin. I believe it's a chemical sunscreen, um, clean chemical sunscreen actives, non-irritating, no synthetic fragrance, and it's vegan as well. So on my eyes, I will just put some um, Urban Decay Eye Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Okay, this is nice because it really covers the lid and cancels out all the things you want canceled before you put eyeshadow on. It's a nice product. It's one of my favorite eyeshadow primers. Sometimes I like to put it underneath the eye as well, but we will be putting um, what we will be putting on under the eye is um, some concealer. This is the Lancome Efface Cerns Waterproof Long Lasting Concealer. 
What color is this? You know, it's faded. I don't know. I think it's fair. I think it's in the color fair. Lancome Efficerns Waterproof um, Long Lasting Under Eye Concealer. So that's what that is. So it's a lovely moisturizing. It's a really great formula for if you have dry skin and you're over the age of 40. I just put it on. I'm putting today, I'm putting it on with my fingers. Yeah, everything looks pretty blended. So I'm just going to take a beauty blender. I didn't even wet it. And I'm just going to press it into the skin. Just make sure everything's nice and blended. This beauty blender isn't even wet. It's the Nick and Sam Chapman beauty blender. The Real Techniques beauty blender. Okay. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is just give the skin a little bit of powder. I'll be using a generic powder brush. Um, and the powder I'll be using is the Chanel. Um, this one is called Powder Universal. It's a loose finish. It's a natural finish loose powder. The Chanel Powder Universal in 20 Clair is the color. It has a little tint to it, which I happen to like with powders. comes with a powder puff. And you can use that as well. In fact, I really like the powder puff as well. Let's put a little in the cap. Let's put a little in the cap. There you go, there's a little bit. And we can just take the powder brush, powder the whole face. We've been home, we've been virtual learning. That's what we do. Oh, this necklace I got, I got it for Easter. My husband gave it to me. It's from the Ann Taylor Loft. It's a lovely necklace and I find that I just throw it on with a t-shirt and jeans today. I just have this this gray shirt on. It's just, it makes me happy. It's just a pretty, okay. So that's all set. The next thing is some bronzer and the bronzer we're gonna be using today is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. Okay, take some on, um, this is what I use as a bronzer brush. And the first thing I do is go under the chin because I like to make sure that I have a nice defined line under my chin. Then I take, but it always helps, you know, for the chin line. Okay, and the next thing we'll do is probably the eyebrows. I have these two eyebrow pencils. Today I'll use the NYX Professional Makeup uh, Micro Brow Pencil, NYX. And the color is, let's see, what is it? Ash Brown, Ash Brown. I have very ashy. Even this is too, is too uh, red for me. It's too brown. I need a more gray black color, but we'll make do with this today. We'll make do with it. Oh, sorry. Let me just bring my, if you can see. My eyebrows have gotten a lot of powder and foundation in them. It's Okay, so that looks. Okay, I think that we're going to blend it in later. Um, let's do this brow. Your brows get pretty unruly as you get older, especially if you've got thicker brows to begin with. The hairs get a bit more wiry and all that kind of thing. So, so we're going to use the other end to, to get those brows, that color brushed in. And then we're going to use an Anastasia brow gel, a tinted brow gel in granite to make sure the grays are covered and that sort of thing. I have an Anastasia Clear Brow Gel as well, which works very nicely. The color here is key. Um, this is the only one that doesn't give my brow a red hue. One thing I don't need is a red brow. Okay, that's good. And now we're gonna use that spoolie again to just run it all through. 
Okay, and it should, that's pretty good. Okay, for our eye look today, we'll be featuring um, e.l.f. They have two very small palettes. I'm not really happy with the quality here. I bought them the bite size eyeshadow palette in both Berry Bad and Rose Water. These are the bite size eyeshadow with just the lightest color in this right there, the lightest color. Okay, and next I'll go into the, the darkest one. I, you know, so let me just, I have a small, just a generic eyeshadow. I don't even know what brand it is, but yeah, that, that lays down quite a bit of pigment and I like that, but it's just so loose that it's, it's these are falling apart really, not really great. Gonna blend that in. I'll blend it in soon. I'm gonna leave that there. Get myself a blending brush, which is right here, a clean one. And we're gonna blend that right in. Circular motion this way, and it's blending nicely, so that's good. Now we're gonna do the same for this one. Blend it in, circular motions. Yeah, blending nicely. Okay, let me see what that looks like. Really nice, so that looks really good. Okay, very good. So the next thing we're gonna do is um, take some of this, um, it's falling apart, but it's a beautiful shimmer color. I don't know whether you can see it. Um, I don't wanna turn it down too much because it might fall out. But I'm going to just take my finger in that. Oh, goodness, it's really chunky. It doesn't lay down well, but it is a beautiful color. So we're going to use it. Take my finger, and there we go. Here it is, okay? So that's good. Take my other finger. Cargo. Every Enjoy every moment. There's a lovely highlighted color. We can use this one to highlight the brow bone in the inner corner. Okay. Um, I'm trying to find a brush. Let's see, yes. So we'll use this small brush to highlight the corner with a, a more shimmery tone. And the brow bone with a matte, a, a light matte color. Okay, let's get the brow bone. Clean this brush off. Okay, so we use the light matte color for the brow bone, which is right here. Okay, we're all set. Now we're gonna line the eye. The liner we'll be using will be from the Rose Water Bite Size Palette. And we're gonna, it's just gonna be a powder liner. We're gonna use the dark color to be our liner for today. And I'm just gonna take um, a liner brush. I have a liner brush right here. Any liner brush and just Line the eye as close to the lash line as you get. I only do the outer portion because my eyes just, they need to separate. It looks better that way. Off camera. Next, I'll be curling the eyelashes and putting on mascara. Okay, the mascara I'll be using is one of my favorites, is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara in 
the Milani Highly Rated Mascara 111 in black. I really love this mascara. Okay. okay. Now on to lips. The Spice Lip Liner by Rimmel. I love that lip liner. It's um, 011 Spice. Just a wonderful nude natural color. Yes, and one of my favorite lip glosses is the Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick. I have the Urban Decay Liquid Lipstick in the color Back Talk. It's a lovely nude that will go with the eye look really well. This is one of my favorite colors in, in, a, in a liquid lipstick. Okay, that's good. And we've forgotten blush. Blush today will be my It Girl. I have a beauty book and it's gonna be my It Girl blush. I think it will go nicely with the look today. It's called Naturally Pretty. It's well loved. There it is. And I will now put that on my cheeks with a, um, just a, just a generic blush brush. Okay, so I'm gonna take that it's a lovely color. It will go. It has a more pinky tone rather than coral, and that'll go nicely with what we're doing today. So, in terms of the eye, a little bit on the nose makes it look natural. You just get a little bit more flush. So let's look back and assess how everything looks. I think we need, from what I can tell, I think I need to blend under my eyes a little bit more. We need more blending there. I think I will use this, this brush and I will take um, maybe a neutral color from the same bite size palette, this to blend the bottom out. Let's see. I think that looks a little bit better. Let's try it on the other eye. Uh, I'm using, sorry, I'm off camera. I'm using, yeah, the blending's very good. It's getting to be, I think, a softer look. Um, I would like to put a little color underneath there. So this one in this very bright palette, very bad palette, has a little bit darker color. See how this is a little bit, this is a little bit more pigmented. We'll use that under the eye as well, just to give a little bit more definition there. Let me see if I can. Yeah. That's good, a little bit more definition. Okay, a little bit of maybe slightly more smokiness. Okay, well, I think we're all done with the makeup today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this, uh, really, it, it it boosted all of my math foundations. I've tried. It, it gives you an amazing glow, but it's sun protection, and it's a wonderful um, primer. It grips the makeup, makes the makeup last a little bit longer. It, you know, it's just a win-win. I love this product. Um, so this product is just absolutely wonderful. Um, yeah, I highly recommend it. It is not inexpensive. I believe it's around in, in somewhere in the 30, $35, something like that. 
um, but it is well worth it. It gives you a 1.7 fluid ounces, um, and you, you can apply it liberally. It's perfectly fine. It is a sunscreen. You want to make sure that it's on there. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful product, and I'm so pleased I bought it. Now I can wear all my matte foundations, Almay Comfort Matte Foundation. But thank you so much for tuning in to this makeup tutorial and this review of the Super Goop Glow Screen. Um, I hope you all stay safe and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.